guys and welcome back it's Ben here for another vlog um, been away for a week we've come back uh, and we're raring to go we're up at Weymouth Street back at home uh, to watch Warmester Town in their final pre-season friendly uh, against Melksham Town a um, couple of divisions between these two side so it should be interesting should be a, a good way hopefully to gauge where warmest's level are at um, and it's going to look really interesting uh, considering the season starts in only seven days so yeah gonna be a good one we're looking forward to it hopefully the boys can pull off something um, but yeah if you haven't already like and subscribe down below join us on the channel if you haven't already because we'd love to have you on the channel uh, it's we're getting there. We're heading towards 250 or 14 subscribers away, and we really need your help to achieve that. So, like and subscribe down below. Join the channel. Uh, join us on our adventure. And if you'd like us to go anywhere in particular, visit any team in particular, go let us know down in the comments below uh, so that we know where you want us to go and what you want us to vlog. So, I'll see you in just a second for our prediction. It's prediction time here for Warminster Town's game against. Melksham Town, um, going to be interesting. Melksham are a few divisions above us uh, in in the pyramid, so there, there's obviously a, a goal fit in, in class. But uh, the boys have done really well. Got a win against uh, Canesham and got yeah got narrowly beaten by a, a very good Bradford's um, side. So I'm optimistic. But saying that, Melksham they got class. They're a good side. Um, so I'm gonna say. 2-1 Melksham. Going to be close, but 2-1. What are you going to say, Ethan? 2-1 yeah, Warminster. 2-1 Warminster. Opposite of me. Uh, and the lads have all put their predictions down below. So, yeah. We'll see you in a second for the start of the game. Suspicion and offside there, um, but there you go. One nil. Oh. So it's half time here, it's not been the half really that Warminster wanted. Um, 3 0 down. Unfortunately, there were some great moves in there. One questionable one for offside, but I'd have to watch the footage back to see uh, who got the last touch and whether it was onside or offside. But at the end of the day, it counted and we're 3-0 down. Um, yeah, some work to do. I think we grew defensively in that half. We were better towards the end, but still, we, we, we conceded another one again. Probably unstoppable, but uh, it wasn't great. Um, and we've had a few chances, you know, we've, we, particularly in the early stages before the game really got going. We had a few opportunities to put the ball in the back of the net. We just didn't take them. Um, but unfortunately, the half has really been marred by the fact that it's not acceptable to abuse players. And I, I want to make that clear. It's not particularly a conversation I want to have, but I'm going to 
just put it out there now. If you are calling player names based on you know height, size, ethnicity, sexuality, anything along those lines, it's not acceptable. Um, you know, we don't accept it at any level, particularly at this club. So yeah, it's just upsetting that that's been a part of this half. Um, but hopefully. It can be better, better off in Warminster. Can get something out the, the second half, but yeah, it's a shame, and yeah, we'll see you there. Oh, that been a Warminster goal? You just hear it chalk that one off. Disallowed it. Lost side or something. Four what? Four nil. Yeah, not great. <laughs>